this is kind of a, an interesting race to be. I almost use this one first um, because, again, it's another one of those races where you're going to kind of have a matchup in here, Gamine and Bella Sophia. And if we're looking at the plot, and again, remember our first call is the horses that are furthest to the left, okay? So Gamine, the five, has more first call speed than the six. The six, however, has faster second call speed. But it it is going to get a little tricky because the five <laughs> uh, the five is drawn inside of the six. Okay, five is trained by Baffert, uh, tactician John Velasquez is a race rider. They know the six is their main rival, and she's to their outside. They're going to keep that horse extremely wide. Can almost guarantee you. Okay, when they break out of the gate, the five has more speed is going to make sure that that six stays wide to not get in front of her. So that's going to impact the second call speed of the six in this race, in my opinion. I think in that scenario, the five, where is this race, has more of an edge. And, and I, John's probably like kicking himself because I'm like such not a fan of this horse like at all. And I'm like <laughs> making a case for her right now. But I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make the case for her, but I'm gonna make the if I have to pick one over the other pace. Cause she's just been a little bit more battle tested, um, has a little bit more class, has a little bit more foundation um under her belt. Where the six has been fast races, but we can see these red keywords. She's had a perfect trip to do it. She had an easy lead to do it. Probably not going to get that perfect trip in the scenario I just mentioned. And she's definitely not going to get the easy lead with Gamine to the first call. Okay. So just in terms of kind of like race design, I think that the six could be a little bit vulnerable here. Now, the six could also make the five a little bit vulnerable because she is fast and she has that second call speed. And she's going to make the five work harder than she's had to work all season long, which is a scenario that could set up for the only other square in the race, which is the four, who is a very quality horse. She's a C -C. grade one. She's a grade one. She's a grade one winner. They've gone a different route with her this year. Last year, they were pointing to the distaff. Okay. So she was running in these longer races and didn't quite pan out. Okay. This year they came back. You can see that what the plan is. They started her at seven furlongs. She won impressively, ran around two turns. She's not a two-turn type. Back of the grade, uh, one turn wins. Had a good race here, finishing third here. It just is in the right spot. Could get the right trip. If those two beat each other up, this is kind of the race that they've been pointing to all season long. So I think, you know, it's not like the biggest upset in the world. The two is scratched, by the way, Um you know, and the three will kind of have to be forwardly placed as well. So the four could get the trip. That's sort of how I see that race. Oops, I want to do this. Um, we did this one already. I will kind of go through it 